chill. So today we're going to take a look at Stop Wars from Tricky Man 1. I don't really know the full story of this figure or the basic concept of this figure, but this company did make some uh, Dragon Ball type figures. I think a few months ago, here are some pictures. They're like streetwear, uh, urban type looking figures. Uh, <laughs> they look fun, but you know, it's not really for me. If you're like a skateboarder type graffiti artist person, then I think this is these are the figures for you. But I think for me, nah, it's not really for me. It's there's, there seems to be something missing from these figures. You know, it seems a bit too bland for me. But it didn't stop me from buying uh, this guy. This guy is like the, I think it's like a TIE fighter type helmet costume thing. I'll show you guys later, but this is the box. So it's time to chill. This is Stop Wars. There is another one they're coming out with. Uh, this picture here is like a Muay Thai type TIE fighter pilot. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with this, but I, th I like the concept of this one. And yeah, you know, the packaging is pretty interesting. So yeah, you know, not much backstory. I mean, if you guys could find some, let me know because I did try to research this guy and there's not a whole lot of research going on with him. So with that being said, let's take a look at him. And here he is, here's the Stop Wars guy. And yeah, um, there really isn't much to him. <laughs> He has like urban clothing with the Imperial, um, I think TIE Fighter helmet getup type dealie. Uh, first thoughts of this figure is pretty underwhelming. Unfortunately, I don't really know why I bought this truthfully. I think it's one of those very slow days I had and I just pre-ordered them just for shits and giggles. I mean, the helmet and the chest piece is really nice. It's like Hot Toys quality, truthfully. But everything else is like, it's, it looks too, how do you say hodgepodge together it looks too uh, i don't know it, it, it's a mismatch of different things and it doesn't really work for me unfortunately uh he is a pricey figure i'm going to tell you that much um yeah almost the price of a hot toy truthfully and i bought the exclusive version stupidly enough because he comes with a kayak i don't really know why i went to the lengths to buy that kayak but i did and Ugh, it's in my collection now, so I have to really put up with it. So yeah, this is him. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, this is this is it, really. I mean, he does come with some accessories, and I'll show you guys that in a bit. But, you know, let's take a closer look at him. And here's a closer look at the Stop Wars figure guy. And yeah, uh, pretty underwhelming for me, unfortunately. It's a real roller coaster of emotions when I open this figure. He's not bad, but he's not great either. I mean, it's hard to explain, you know? I mean, if you're really into this um, type of concept, type of uh, how you could mix match of different genres into one figure, you like customizing figures, then sure, why not? This is like the one for you. But for me, I kind of like to keep things original. And I thought, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it. I thought it would be different somehow, but it, it's kind of lackluster to me. I mean, the helmet, I love the helmet and this piece, but everything else is it's just, it's like it's missing something, you know? It's its missing a whole lot here. It, it, didn't, it didn't justify the price I paid for him. So with that being said, let's take a look at the junk he comes with. Kayak, kayak oars. Lawn chair, at at doggy, leg piece, leg piece, sunglasses, leash, baby bottle, hand, 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 hand. And here's the stuff the Stop Wars figure comes with. Now, I don't really know the name of this figure, so I'm just gonna call them the Stop Wars figures. <laughs> so, first off, let's look at the biggest accessory he has this huge ass kayak thing. So you can see it has a Supreme type parody logo there for, you know, legal reasons. Um, if you buy the exclusive, exclusive, you get this kayak and you have absolutely nowhere to put it in your collection because it's that huge. Uh, it's made okay. I mean, yeah, you have to fill it up with your human air here. There's a little breath thingy here. I haven't done one of these since I was a kid blowing up things 
inflatable things. I haven't had an inflatable toy in so long. So this is nostalgic for me when I was like making this. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. This is the kayak. I can't really fit it into frame, but it does hold the figure. I mean, he can lie down full length. Uh, yeah, there's really not much else to see. Except you get a kayak if you get the exclusive version. Which I don't recommend because, you know, it's kind of big, kind of obscene as well. I don't really know what to do with this thing. With this, you also get the kayak oars. So here you got the uh, Supreme parody logo again on each oar. And yeah, this is like cheap plastic. So if you want him sitting up and rowing in the pool, then okay. But this is it. It does come detached when you get it out of the packaging. Uh, there you go. And you just, just slot it in. Easy one, two, three. So those are the biggest accessories he has in this set. Yep. Next up. Let's take a look at the second biggest thing he has is this big ass lawn chair. Now this lawn chair looks like it's from Daiso or something because it's so fiddly. It's so it's bad. It's it's cheaply made truthfully. I mean, look at the hairs on this. It's just it's super glued together. It's not great quality truthfully, unfortunately. And it doesn't really sit the figure fully. I mean, he does sit on this okay, but he doesn't fully sit on it. I'll show you guys that in a moment. But yeah, I'm not really thrilled about the quality of this. It's like cheap wood. And I don't know, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna sound pretty disappointed throughout this review, unfortunately. So sorry about that. But this is kind of, it bummed me out. This is, it's pretty shit, really. But, oh uh, well. He does sit on it quite well, but you know. Oh well. Next up, we have his, now this one I like, his little, I think this is an at-at. It's like an at at type dog thing. <laughs> this one I like. This one I like the the most. Quite truthfully, I think I bought this figure because of this thing alone. <laughs> I mean, with a little dry brushing, you could really uh, make the details pop out more. So he does have articulation. He could go, huh? Let's see if I could focus the camera. He could go, huh? And his legs do articulate. He does have two sets of uh, back legs here. So you could have him sitting down like that, or you could have him like running with these extra leg pieces here. So you just plug and play. You just take it out, plug it in. So yeah, this is his uh, pet, I guess, robotic pet. And with that, he also comes with a baby bottle for this at-at. So this is baby bottle. This plugs into his chest piece. I'll show you guys that in a bit. So this is like a baby bottle piece. Uh, I, I, okay. And he has his sunglasses as well. This is pretty hard to put on him because of the helmet, but it is easily to slot. But I'm scared of the breakage of these stems because yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to take them out. So once it's in, it's in. You, I really, really discourage you from taking them out again. Next up, we have the, the at ats leash. Um, it has some... I don't know if the camera could focus on this, but I will try. Oh, it's upside down. So it does have some text. I'll try to slowly pan. I don't know the context of this. This is trying to be, I don't know, cool or something, but at the same time, I don't get it. So this is his leash, I guess. And you just strap this to that dog and he'll hold the other end. Yeah. If you guys know what's going on with this figure, let me know. <laughs> it's such a, a impulse buy for me. Next up, we have his two human hands. Now I say human hands because these are the most human-like hands he has. The other hands he has, oh dear. The other hands he has is more like cartoony, blocky type designer type hands so this is more human like so you have the wrinkles you have the veins yeah you have all that and lastly he has his cartoony type designer hands i guess because they're blocky they're more squarey more cartoony like 
So yeah, this is the stuff the Star Wars figure comes with. So with that being said, let's stick all this junk onto this very weird figure. And here's the Star Wars figure all loaded up with his accessories. Now he does have one more accessory, this little um, milk bottle thing here. So essentially you just uh, balance it inside his chest piece because there is no plug point or tab. You just stick it in and it's, it just sits there really. It, it just sits there. You don't really have to do much. So yeah, this is him. Um, I don't know what you guys think. A pretty weird figure, truthfully. Uh, really, it's not for me, truthfully. It's it's really not for me. I mean, it, it looks cool, but this is not the type of genre I like. And I'm probably gonna sell this <laughs> in a few months' time and try to get my money back. But let's take some close-ups. Uh, let's see if I could do this. So there is the dog. Little doggy guy over there. Really cute. And then you can see like his shoes, his Nike shoes there, or off-brand Nike shoes. So you can see it's one of those, um, how you say, customizable type figure accessory things you see. Uh, then you can see his pegs. You, you gotta love those pegs. You, lo you, you gotta love seeing them. <laughs> and then you got his chest piece there, close up there, his chest piece. I do some slow pans here. And you guys little helmet there. Ooh. Yeah, this is him. This is the Stop Wars figure from what is it from? Tricky Man 1. I don't know if that's a guy, like a like just one guy, a one man show type of deal or a company name, but yeah, this is from him. So let's stick him in another pose and here's the stop wars figure in another pose like he's petting a dog oh i forgot to mention that i'm missing like another pair of hands from this figure because if you look at this picture right you could see his hands have like a grasping looking uh type pose but all the hands i've got were like open hand so i kind of got ripped off on that part as well so yeah not a whole lot of pros on this figure <laughs> But he is a fun figure. I'm not gonna deny it. He's fun, he's very conceptual. Uh, this is the type of figure you like. I mean, if you have a Star Wars type collection of hot toys and this guy's like standing in the middle of it, it will pique interest. Uh, yeah, I guess, but I don't know. For me, I can't, it, it missed the mark. It's like, it's missing something. It's missing something that will make it, that'll make it, you know, complete. Right now it looks incomplete to me. It really does. If that makes sense at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling right now. So let's take a final uh, close up of this guy and see where he fits in my collection. So yeah, this is him. I have to, I again, say that his glasses are a bitch to put on him because the holes in his helmet are not aligned properly. You could see here that you could see those joints. Everybody loves to see those joints. Then you could see, yeah, this little puppy guy. I really like this guy. <laughs> I guess this guy made the whole purchase worth it, I guess. And then you can see his little um, Supreme type shoes, which is, you know, it looks kind of cool though. I'm not a fan of the laces. I don't know why they're so damn long. So I might have to cut that. He does have socks. And yeah, this is it. This is uh, the Stop Wars figure. So with that being said, let's stick this guy on my display shelf and see where he fits. And this is where I'll stick the Stop Wars figure in this very weird setting. Uh, I don't really know where to put him in my collection, but he is a uh, Star Wars themed, so just stick him in the Star Wars shelf, I guess. So if you guys didn't know this guy existed, well then here he is. <laughs> In all his glory. Do some slow pans here, yeah. There we go, got a little friend here. His little at-at dog. 
next to BB-8. Now I really don't know what to do with this, <laughs> this kayak thing. But yeah, it's in my collection now, so I have to figure it out later. I'll probably put it back in storage. But yeah, that's my review over this weird guy. Let me get, let me know what you guys think of him, if you guys like him or not. For me, I'm half half. I'm okay with him, but you know, I could, I wouldn't like be upset if I didn't have him. If that makes sense. But he's here with me now, so better make the most of it, I guess. So, thanks for watching this weird little review over this weird little figure. And as always, go get him. Oh, here's the box for that kayak thing.